This is the Music History Today podcast for April 17th. On today's show, the band makes a debut of sorts. Cancer claims the life of Linda McCartney, and a car crash takes away the potential of Eddie Cochran. First up, though, on this date in 1941, singer and actress Doris Day married trombone player Albert Jordan. In 1953, Harry Belafonte made his film acting debut in the movie Bright Road. In 1960, Gene Vincent was injured and Eddie Cochran was killed in a car accident in Wiltshire, England. In 1964, the group Them performed live for the first time. In 1969, the group The Band performed live as a solo act for the first time. They were previously, of course, Bob Dylan's backup band. In 1981, the Ringo Starr movie Caveman premiered, co-starring his future wife, Barbara Bach. In 1982, the event that inspired Christopher Cross's hit song Think of Laura occurred when college freshman Laura Carter was killed by a stray bullet from a nearby gunfight. Also in 1982, Johnny Cash was the guest host on Saturday Night Live. In 1993, Susanna Hoffs of the Bangles married director Jay Roach. In 1999, the Rock for the Rainforest Benefit concert was held. In 2007, the band Arcturus broke up. In 2012, the K-pop group Hello Venus formed. And in 2014, the Rock for the Rainforest Benefit concert was held for that year. In theater, in 1977, the Broadway show I Love My Wife opened, and in 2018, the Tina Turner musical Tina the Musical opened in London, England. And in award ceremonies that were held on April 17th in 2015, John Coltrane was given the Pulitzer Prize Special Citation of Honor Award. Albums that were released on April 17th include in 1964 when Dusty Springfield released A Girl Called Dusty. In 1970, 10 years after, released Cricklewood Green and Brimsley Schwartz released the self-titled album. In 1972, Peter Frampton released Wind of Change. In 1973, The Eagles released Desperado. In 1981, Stiff Little Fingers released Go For It. In 1982, Motorhead released Iron Fist. In 1989, Neil Young released El Dorado. In 1990, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released The Good Son. In 1991, Rick Wakeman did a twofer. He released Silent Nights and also Time Machine. In 2006, The Church released Uninvited Like the Clouds. In 2007, Dark Tranquility released Fiction. In 2017, Tom Petty released Tom Petty Live. In 2019, Beyonce released her live album, Homecoming. And in 2020, Fiona Apple released her Grammy-winning album, Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Singles that were released on April 17th include in 1961 when the Cleftones released Heart and Soul. In 1964, the Dave Clark Five released Do You Love Me. In 1971, the Rolling Stones released Brown Sugar. In 1972, Neil Diamond released Song Sung Blue. Also on that same day, Elton John released Rocket Man. In 1973, the Eagles released Tequila Sunrise. In 1978, ABBA released Take a Chance on Me. In 1979, Sister Sledge released We Are Family. In 1980, Pink Floyd released Run Like Hell. In 1982, according to the liner notes for the album Planet Rock at least, Africa Bombada and the Soul Sonic Force released Planet Rock. There have been some arguments that say that it was actually released in June of 1982, AI claims that it was actually released in December 11th of 1982, a full two months after it hit the Billboard singles chart and sold 500,000 copies, which is why you never trust AI. Just saying. Anywho, moving on. 1993, Aerosmith released Eat the Rich. In 2010, the Rolling Stones released Plundered My Soul. And in 2018, Liam Neeson released Familiar. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on April 17th, by the way, I don't use AI, but I did have to look it up just to verify that. And wow, were they completely wrong. Gotta love computers. Anyway, music artists that were born on April 17th include the awesome, legendary singer-songwriter Miss Liz Fair, also Redman of the Wu-Tang Clan, Avi Kaplan of Pentatonix, Posh Spice herself, Miss Victoria Beckham, singer Michael Cimbello of Flashdance fame. Actually, he did the song Maniac for the movie Flashdance. Producer Don Kirshner, singer Tony Bellis, rapper Grandmaster Kaz, singer Jordan Hill, rapper DNA, rapper Andy Minio, singer Wean, rapper Blood Raw, singer Tex Fletcher, bandleader James Last, bandleader Chris Barber, singer Billy Fury, singer Bobby Curtola, guitarist Roy Estrada of Captain Beefheart, Tony Crane of the Mercy Beats, composer Jan Hammer of Miami Vice fame these days, Pete Shelley of the Buzzcocks, Maynard James Keenan of Tool, and composer Artur Schnabel. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 17th include composer Philip Erlbach, who passed away in 1714 at the age of 56. Composer Johann Matheson passed away in 1764 at the age of 82. Composer Gottlob Wiedemann passed away in 1854 at the age of 74. Composer Jules Ailery passed away in 1891 at the age of 77. Composer, conductor, and also author Hans Balaktka passed away in 1899 at the age of 74. Singer and band leader Al Boley passed away during the Nazi bombing raids of London, England in 1941 at the age of 43. The aforementioned singer and guitarist Mr. Eddie Cochran in a car crash in 1960 at the age of 21. Jazz trumpet player Red Allen passed away from cancer in 1967 at the age of 59. Composer Roberto Lupi passed away in 1971 at the age of 62. Saxophonist and also singer with his brother Guy Lombardo's orchestra, Carmen Lombardo passed away in 1971 at the age of 67. Composer Herbert Elwell passed away in 1974 at the age of 75. Vinnie Taylor of the group Shanana passed away from a drug overdose in 1974 at the age of 25. Bassist Felix Papillardi of the group Mountain was shot and killed by his wife in 1983 at the age of 43. Jazz double bassist Teddy Kotick passed away from a brain tumor in 1986 at the age of 57. Reggae drummer Carly Barrett of the Upsetters and also Bob Marley and the Wailers was shot and killed outside his home in 1987 at the age of 36. His wife was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder four years later concerning his death. Country music singer Hank Penny passed away in 1992 at the age of 73. Jazz saxophonist and clarinetist Skeet Herfert passed away in 1992 at the age of 80. Photographer, keyboardist for the group Paul McCartney and Wings, and also the wife of Paul McCartney, Miss Linda McCartney, passed away from cancer in 1998 at the age of 56. Blues singer-songwriter Earl King passed away from diabetes in 2003 at the age of 69. Organist Danny Federici of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band passed away from melanoma in 2008 at the age of 58. Conductor, composer, pianist, and University of Sydney music professor from 1960 to 1991, Eric Gross, passed away in 2011 at the age of 84. 
Singer B. Kadood passed away in 2013 at the age of 100. Singer and actress Deanna Durbin passed away in 2013 at the age of 91. Opera singer Arlene Saunders passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 89. Bassist Matthew Seligman passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 64. Concert pianist Radu Lupu passed away in 2022 at the age of 76. Singer and actress Ree Stiles passed away in 2022 at the age of 72. And singer April Stevens passed away in 2023 at the age of 93. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 18th, when in 1987, the MTV show Headbangers Ball premiered. <laughs> 